Hello my friends and welcome to another First Impressions video. This time it is Beyond the Stars. Which is a... Game where you build a city on the back of a space whale? Well, anyway. It's channeling old Terry Pratchett super hardcore. Let's see... How it all turns out. Okay. Oh, it's a random seed. So I guess our space whale is different every time. Once, we traveled the stars. We saw things that brought us joy. We made discoveries that kept us hungry for more. But some of those discoveries were hungry for us. They were forever feeding but never satisfied. So we descended into deep bunkers, saying farewell to the open sky. And over quiet centuries, we forgot so many things. But we returned. We reignited our old hunger to discover and rebuilt what was lost. But the insatiable hunger also returned. It felt hopeless to be pursued by such creatures. Until the day one stopped and observed us, like we once observed them. We were sick of hiding, so a brave few followed their curiosity. What wonders lie beyond these stars? So what? They were hiding from the ultra wealthy? <laughs> they're, the, they're the ones that have the hunger that's never satisfied. We made it! Okay, everyone has a clown nose for some reason. We're on the back of a space whale. This will aid my research greatly. Before we start building our outpost and researching the whale, let's check our surroundings make sure it's safe. So the others can land too. I think we're safe. We could be wrong. Don't be so paranoid. Of course we're safe. Space whale would have eaten us ages ago if it wanted to. Thanks for the reminder. According to my calculations, there's only 20% chance this particular space whale will behave antisocially. Let's change the topic. How about we start building our outpost? I have a list! I have a list! <clears throat> First off, before we start building, we need roads. Then we build huts for shelter. Potato patches for food and water pump on the river's edge. I don't know why you would start with roads. That's bizarre, but I guess that's how the game mechanics work. Hmm. And we can investigate that strange golden object. Hmm. Maybe later. We're going to build our outpost first. things happen. Okay, let us continue. Place six roads. Six 
Some areas are inaccessible until you have unlocked pathing buildings like elevators and bridges. Oh man, they refer to people as peeps. Peeps! What is the most efficient way to build these? Since they have to touch a road. I guess like this. Selecting a building or construction site will bring up its building info card. Slowly produces everything the peeps need to start an outpost. Requires an upgrade in order to be launched again. Produces no pollution. It's banished in space! With hexes instead of squares. Look at them! They're like, uh... They look like those friggin', uh... uh um... Or like they sort of waddle around like, uh, that stupid droid from, uh, Borderlands. <laughs> they look like Mitroshka pins. Doing anything by hand takes forever. Can I radio the others that? Yeah, I'd love their tools and their tech. Soon. There's still some peeps on the home spaceship that need to disembark. Mm. I haven't finished everything on the list either. We need more tools. That means getting wood and iron. Well, there's plenty of ore here. We just need a way to access it. Now, how on earth do trees grow on a space whale? Well, how is there an atmosphere? Hmm. Do you think the space whale knows we're here? Uh. What was that? Sorry, that was me. I dropped my hammer.
Wood needed. Stone, iron. Glacier that flows down from the whale's head. Is the implication that this whale is so enormous that it has its own gravity? It do, it's not big enough for that though. Okay. It's it's just one of these very relaxing building games. I mean, I'm not even sure what I should say. very uh, uh, you know a cool theme but a very standard town building game you know controls are good UI is good space
Okay. We were ready to report the initial findings of our research mission back to the peeps at home. And finally, let others know it's safe to land. Hello, can you hear me? Oh no, the space whale is moving. What? How do we get it to turn around? I don't think that's possible. I'd like to remind you both that we knew something unexpected might happen after we landed. Our whole plan gone. We're probably light years away from home already. And where are we even going? I don't know, but we have everything we need to survive. We've never done this whole live on the back of a beast who's eaten our planets and our people thing before. On the bright side, our research mission now includes a healthy dose of adventure. I should be working on some kind of this is very 40k of me, but you should be working on like some kind of poison to kill these things. If they're going around eating your planets. Hmm. If they survived the old times, let's focus on helping the stragglers disembark from the home spaceship. Well, wow, my space whale. Space whales. The spaciest of whales. I get the feeling that we need to go and have a look at the mysterious ruin. There are 20 peeps aboard the home spaceship. As you build accommodation buildings, peeps will disembark and go live in them. Once all 20 peeps are living in homes, they may start having children if you provide more accommodation. How many people live in one building? Is this like banished? You have various sized families. I need to build light. Way more huts. And for that, I need to wait for wood. Don't tell me I need like one hut for every. No, that can't be right. more. Ugh. 
I don't like admitting this, but I'm stumped on what to do next. I think the anxiety is getting to me. At least the light, at least this light tunnel thing is pretty to look at. Actually, the back of the space whale is really beautiful, wow. isn't it? Everyone seems to think we're stuck here. I tried to cheer everyone up, but I think I'm better at researching than reassuring. Which leads to the other thing we're good at: turning a little outpost into a town. Build warehouses and stock power resources. Sure. Random, but sure, whatever. I'm just gonna expand my food production because potatoes hovering around four worries me. Produce five tools and build a warehouse. Okay. Easy. I think this is just one of these very relaxing games. I mean. Where we find out that the resource management's really aggressive and everyone starts dying. The old tree slicer is doing his best. Warehouses can store up to 10 unique resources and up to 320 resources total. Must just store a bit of everything. the extra capacity for like food and water probably being like the most critical peeps cannot do most kinds of work with zero energy they can only build potato patches and water pumps and fetch food and drink A sawmill. Oh, it crashed. Are 
It crashed. Huh. Well, it is a demo. Some instability is not unexpected for a uh, for a demo of a pre-release game. It was running so smoothly too. Now let's see, were they sensible enough to put auto saves in, or did we lose all our progress? Okay, looks like there's an auto save. How far back are we set? Oh, really far back. I guess the auto saves are like once every 10 minutes or something along those lines. In fact, it may have crashed trying to auto save. That is like a popular issue that some brand new games have. Yeah, auto save frequency is every 10 minutes. It probably crashed trying to autosave. Because I feel like we just lost almost precisely uh, 10. Um. Almost precisely lost 10 minutes worth of uh, progress there. So that's uh, that's a bit of a bummer, as they say. It didn't destabilize my PC or anything, I mean, PC just carried on like nothing had happened at all. Even the recording was completely fine. So it wasn't OBS. Everything's missing wood, which is fine. We can also speed things up to ludicrous speed. Mm. 
Moss and Lou have been born. Looks like the space whale didn't put anybody off. There we go. Now I can finally build a warehouse. I can now construct schools. Build a water pump, build three potato patches. Okay. Didn't I build a sawmill? Or am I imagining it? This is where we find out that the game crashed when I built the sawmill last time. It wasn't the saving, it was the sawmill. Back in real space. Huh. None of these stars look familiar for me. I wish you hadn't said that. Remember, we have everything we need right here. Space Whale has not been uh -huh. hostile towards us. Our faithful old home spaceship is struggling to keep up with our power consumption. We're going to need a burner generator to get more power and a dump for all the yuck byproducts, too. Oh, great. All that pollution is going to be so good for us. Will pollution harm the whale? Yes. Probably. Why wouldn't it? it ruins everything else. Needs planks.
You don't actually research anything in the tech tree. You unlock stuff by making resources. Sand. The only issue with the sand is that it's coarse and it's rough and it gets everywhere. <laughs> Unknown resource deposit. Far away from my productive clean area. Build a burn generator, build a dump, produce 20 power to unlock the metal smelter. I guess you don't have much choice but to build this stuff early. We won't be doing any SimCity style skipping straight to solar, wind or hydro. Funny how power is made like an actual item. Unhappy peeps move more slowly, and very unhappy peeps will refuse to work. Instead, they will use all their energy relaxing. bench near some huts. Does that not count? It can't be the other side of the road. It has to be next to a hut. discovered something. <laughs> Remember that strange metal structure? It's emitting an odd humming sound. It could be dangerous. Uh -huh. 
It's the demon core, yes. It's so alien, it's not what I was going to, uh, never mind. Not what you're going to do it anyway. If it is a transmitter, won't it need electronics? Yes, thank you, it will. Not really sure how we can get electronics here, though. We need a few things first, like a mine for sand, a metal smelter to make steel and glass. When it's sand, even though it's coarse and it's rough and it gets everywhere. Did mines go? Okay, there it is. Man, this this wooden bridge was built by a psychopath. That doesn't look trustworthy at all. Hex-shaped clouds. Okay, you can make either of these, I don't care which. Probably need them both. Okay, alright, I think, you know, it's very obvious that what kind of game this is. You'll be happily burning your hours away, building your settlement on the back of a space whale. I don't know what the... What the key challenges will be. Like, uh... You know, how do you lose the game? Can you even lose the game? Is there going to be combat or disasters? I mean, I haven't seen any evidence of that. I mean, I presume that people can starve to death? But producing food is not... ...being difficult. Oh, it crashed! When I clicked on the home button. Exactly when I clicked on the home button, it crashed. Okay, so it's got some stability issues for sure. But it's just a demo. I'm sure the stability will come with vigor rigorous testing. This definitely is the game. Because I, as soon as I clicked the button, it crashed. So there's evidently there's some, some function call there that has just exploded. Anyway, that's it for this first impressions. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time.